we've added the colon property and randomize it up. In this video we're going to look at inheriting the color off an object. So um, I'm just going to delete that very source property. We don't need that one anymore. Oops, let's connect that back up. So now they're all just red uh, because we've got one in the red, we've got that one in the blue, all blue. There we go. Right. So to inherit the color off the object, um, at the moment you can't bring textures into the graph, doesn't they don't work. Um, it has to be per vertex paint textures. Um, well they're not textures, are they? They're per vertex color property or something like that. So I've done this sort of done this before with things like XGen and stuff like that and fur. So if you right click go to paint mesh vertex color RGB go to our tool settings uh, let's get minimize that for the time being and I'm just going to flood it with white set to RGB so flood so that's now all white um, and I'm just going to load up a color map to give it a bit more variation rather than just painting dodgy colors on it so import it's gonna take a while there we go um, source images oh, great um, and I've got this multicolored little image I've used before I think in the X-Gen like that so nothing's happened they're still all blue um, we have to change the color set name to match the color property here so if I go to mesh display which is under the modeling part so modeling mesh display color set editor select that go rename call it color and go OK like that um, and then rewind nothing's happened I play they're all still blue so this should be getting the color off this um, but here is a bit of a problem and this is what happens let's get rid of that is that one no let's just open it up again so even though in here I just had RGB and I flooded it it's actually made an RGBA which is a it's known as a vector 4 as in like a value of 4 numbers we've only got 3 here so I've got to change this to a float 4 like that let's put that to 1 and it's still not working I think this is because we've got this issue again so let's just try that. There we go. So I don't know if I delete those, will I go back to black? Yeah, I'm gonna delete that one. There we go. So this seems to be not working great actually with uh, color. So you just gotta be careful about these outputs um, and maybe reconnecting them. It seems to do a similar thing that we've seen before where you change the data and it stops working, but it's not flagging up red in this new Bifrost graph shape world, which is this thing. So, you know, we sorted that, and now when I hit play, let's just deselect them. There we go. We're all, they're inheriting the color. So we can look in there, you can see they're all coming out yellow and oh, that bit. I'll have to do that. Um, and if I maybe close this down. Let's just put that to a thousand. Put my speed to zero. Um, direction zero. I'm just going to put that to one. To a point one. So there we go. So you can see it's inheriting the colours. Just moving outwards. Oops. There we go. So. 
that's how you apply the uh, to inherit colors of objects. The things to flag up are sorry, let's get rid of that. You will probably have to change this to a value float four and make sure you put one there. So actually that will work. So I think I flooded it all with white. Do you remember so I would have put it all with white. So that's just in case do that. Um, so that's inheriting the colour from the object. And the other problem which I seem to be having, which hopefully you're not, is this output might need to be updated to get it to work. So give that a go.